Hello guys, welcome back to Puzzle 306 tutorial. In this video, we will make the rocker arm back spring. So open your tools and let's go. First, we'll hide everybody here. Okay, go to new component. The name of the component, rocker arm back spring. Press OK. Now create a component inside here. And we call spring, okay. Press OK. OK. First, go to Create and select Coil. And select the top plane. Click here in the midpoint, make a circle here with 24.8 millimeters. Press OK. Let's make a zoom here. OK, the GM, the type is 8 and pitch. OK. The diameter. 24.8 millimeters. The age here is 30.3 millimeters and the pitch is 5.08 millimeters. And the section size is 2.45. Operation new body press OK. Now go to create and select the top plane. Let me hide this body, okay. Select circle, make a circle here with 27 millimeters and create another one here with 12.7 millimeters. Press OK. We have this. Finish the sketch. Go to extract, select this profile. We will extrude this minus, minus 1.5 millimeters. Operation join, press OK. Now go to offset plane and select the top plane. OK. The distance here is 30.3 millimeters. Press OK. Go to create a sketch, select this plane here. Select circle, make a circle here with 27 millimeters of diameter, press OK. Finish the sketch. Go to extrude. Extrude this 1.5 millimeters. Operation join. Press OK. We have this, OK. Now, active the rocky arm breaking spring here. Go to rectangular pattern. Select this guy here, object type component, the axis, the red axis here, quantity 12, and put any distance here just to show everybody, okay, and press OK. We need to make some corrections, first, delete all the tangent, the tangent relationship, Delete every tangent, okay. That's okay. And now show the fan shaft and the cylinder head. We need to change this rotation, okay? To rotate this in the other side. Go to fan shaft. This revolute here. Let's see. Let's animate this joint. We need to change the direction here, okay? So, to change this, the fusion is a little strange to do this, okay? In the other programs, it's more easy. Just have a button to change the direction. Go to edit joint. And here, we see that the component one, we selected this face. And the component two, we selected this edge here. So let's try to change this edge okay let's select this edge let's see now it's is rotating the right side okay okay now we're gonna change this to minus the distance here offset minus 1.5 millimeters press okay now it is rotating the right direction 
Okay. Okay, now we need to turn the rev the other revolut. Let me see if it's rotating there. We need to change the direction here. Okay. We'll make the same. Go to revolute, edit joint, and the uh, snap the component two will select the other edge. Let's change this. Let me see if it it's rotating the right side. Now it's rotating the right side. In the other program like SolidWorks, Inventor, Katia V5, we just have a button to change the direction. Here we need to change the, the joint, the place of the joint. Press OK. Now, uh, we're gonna put this ball, this spring, sorry, in this valve, okay? So I will drag this down a little bit. Just uh, hide the hooker arm, okay? You can hide the valve, the hooker arm, the shaft, the cylinder head, and here. Go to joint here. Sorry, go to joint and select this space here inside okay the center here and select this this face here in the top the motion here is rigid okay press okay i will cut the video so make this for all springs okay and valve okay we have this okay now let's show the rocker arm we need to edit the rocker arm so edit the rocker arm one go to rocker arm go to joint show the joints we need to go to sorry to main body here of the rocker arm and the bodies and here we need to create a component from this body here, okay? Create a component from this body, that's okay. Go to joint, select this component, select the, the middle here, okay? And select the middle point of this body. And the motion here is revolute. Press OK. He changed all the rocker arm of this side now we're gonna make to make to rocker arm in this side okay because the name of uh, this rocker arm is different go here go to main body bodies select the body tree make a component from this body and go to joint Select the center here, the center point here, and select the center point of this axis. The motion here is revolute and press OK. That's OK. We make the all the corrections, OK. Show the camshaft. Show the cylinder head. That's OK. Let me hide the joints here. Now we'll make the relationship here. Go to assembly, tangent relationship, select this face and this face here. Press OK. And repeat this here. I will animate this to show you guys how it's working. OK. But when I make it all this relationship with the other rocker arm, my computer won't won't be able to make this animation because I need a my PC need a, an upgrade. So be my Patreon and make a donation to the channel. The link in the description of the video and in the first comment. And let's make this for all rocker arm and all valves, okay?
we made this in this side if I try to animate this my PC won't will work okay I need a an upgrade with my patreon let's make this in the other side here See how it's working? I'm removing this manually. That's okay. Let's make the others okay. Let me see one thing. I need to move this a little bit. Let me see. Let me do this motion here. Three millimeters or more. That's okay. that's okay here we finish the exercise see you in the next video i'll try to put one more video tomorrow so thanks for watching and subscribe my channel for more videos bye bye see you in next time